Hey, how's it going everybody? Bearded Burton here. We've got a nasty, rainy, uh, no good fun day outside. And honestly, I didn't feel like going out there. I've already filmed this video once and essentially it was 10 knives in 10 minutes. And I had a lot of issues with audio. Um, I've realized later that I didn't have the jack plugged all the way into my camera. So I decided to redo this and I had an idea hit me. Why not let fate decide what knives I show you? What I mean by that is using a deck of cards, I'll shuffle them, I'll flip one over, and whatever the number says, if it's a face card, we'll just count that as 10. But whatever the number says, that's how many knives I'll show you. And hopefully the ones that I'll, I'll be showing are either really special, custom, one-off, uh, that way you can kind of see what you can get um, or what you could uh, potentially find uh, through the pout house or the secondary market um, because there's tons of hidden gems and treasures out there for all of you knife enthusiasts like myself. So I'm gonna shuffle this brand new deck of cards that I got and uh, this in itself is special because there's only a few people, I think like 40 of us that have these. So what we have here is actually a special deck of cards. So the folks at LT Wright Knives made a limited run of playing cards for the pout house. Um, everything on the back is the sign that hangs outside the shop. And then the front are all photos that pout house members submitted. So everyone's different. It's so cool, so cool. We'll get rid of the jokers for this game, but they're essentially the vehicles at LT Wright Knives. Pretty stinking cool. For time's sake, we'll do three rounds, and that's basically just shuffle, and then whatever the top card is, is how many knives I'll draw out of this bag. If we consistently hit 10 knives, we might be in trouble, because um, I don't want this video to be too long, but we'll just see what shakes out. So I'm gonna get to shuffling, and then we'll see what the first card is. All right, so we got the deck shuffled pretty well. And like I said, for time's sake, uh, if we immediately draw like a five, I'll show you the five knives and we won't do any more rounds. But if we get a couple of ones or twos, uh, I'm gonna try to make it really quick. Basically just gonna go over the specs, where the knife came from, what it means to me, and why it's included in this game. So I'm gonna cut the deck, and then let's see what this first one is. That's a four. Okay, awesome. All right, so four knives. Just reaching here into this bag. All right, first off, this knife is the Beard Lure. So this is a custom knife. This design is by me. I drew all this up on graph paper uh, to scale and everything. Used to, in a pout house, the month of July for pout house members was customs month. And basically, in that month, you could submit as many and whatever kind of knives you wanted for them to make in the shop. And it would take, you know, about a year but uh, if you wanted to just do one knife, which this was my very first time doing it, I, I can't remember when it was, maybe 2015, 2016, or you could do four or five knives, but this was my very first one. So I combined three of my favorite knives into one. I did the Genesis, the GNS, and PLSK1. So this is the size of the PLSK1. It's got the centerline tip of the Genesis and the curved belly of the Genesis and then kind of the handle ergonomics of the GNS. Uh, this is an A2 steel. It is, I believe, five inches and five inches, and it has custom shock wood scales. This is a company called Beyond Wood Products, and they mix resin and wood burl. And then it has uh, two liners, black and hunter green. So I have used the mess out of this knife, and I still love it, and honestly, it's my number one overall favorite this is what i'm grabbing if the house burns down so it's pretty crazy i reached into the bag and grabbed this because that's by far 
uh, my favorite one. Let's get a second one. Grab a smaller one. Oh, okay. So this is probably in my top five. Uh, this is the Holy Bushman version one. This is the original version that came out in the Holy Bushman. This was a design, I believe, by David C. Anderson. I'm not for sure, but I absolutely love it. There is a version two that's out there um, that they redid a little bit of a, a little bit of the design, particularly the handle. Uh, it, it was just too similar to one that was already uh, being made for um, a company and you know, just out of respect. So this is A2 Steel Scandi. It's got black micarta handles with bright orange liners. And this is by far just the bushcraft knife for me. I mean, the size, it can still split kindling. It's got that nice needle point on it to really get under stuff if you want to skin fish. Really great Scandi. And the handle is just beautiful. Um, this is another one that I will never, ever, ever get rid of. Oh my gosh. Okay. So uh, I'll say a little something about the sheath. This sheath was custom made for me and Larry Roberts. He has the other one. We're the only two people that have it. Uh, it's beautiful green leather and it's got the mouse with the beard. So the bearded mouse with kind of the trees above it. This was Larry and I's collaboration Genesis model. Um, he made a really cool uh, fire still with a leather handle, and it's got 52100 on the sheath here because that's the steel that we chose. It's an ode to Outdoorology. Uh, Nick is a good friend and a heck of a leather maker. So let's take a look at the knife. This is your standard Genesis, but this is the only knife that has come out of the LT right knife shop in 52100 steel. Larry and I chose 52100 and are super happy with it. We, I still really love this steel. It's kind of the perfect blend of my favorite, which these two are in, A2, and it's got just enough properties in it that make it uh, corrosion more corrosion resistant than A2, and it's a lot harder to get a patina. So this is Black Micarta OD Green Liners, um, beautiful green, and you can see it's got the pout house on one side with a J stamp. That's the only, you know, it worked out that J was the stamp that they used. My name's Jonathan, but I didn't ask him to do that. So that's the 52100 uh, steel code stamp. And then it's got Larry's uh, mouse logo and then my beard logo on there. So the bearded mouse is where that comes from. It's, it's a fantastic knife. So another killer knife. Let's see if we can go four for four. All right, grabbing the fourth one now. No idea what this is. Oh, okay. Okay. This is another fan favorite of mine. Uh, definitely in my top five. This is another design by me. Uh, this was my second go around at the July uh, Customs Month for Pout House members. And this on this year, I think it was the following year after I did the beard lure, I submitted three designs. And so this was a trio knife package. And my idea at the time was all three of these knives I could carry, nest together, and uh, they would take care of everything I could need in camp. So I call this model the Bobcat. Part of the reason why it's called the Bobcat is it's an ode to Bob Dozer. Uh, me being from Arkansas, my grandpa carried Dozer knives. I've always been a fan of them. And my very first folding pocket knife that I spent what I considered good money on was a K-Bar Bob Dozer collab. And this pattern is very similar to that knife when it's unfolded, except I made it have the classic Genesis spear point and I made the handle a little bit thicker and exaggerated the curve of the knife. This is an A2 steel. You can see it's a key stamp. I asked them to put a key stamp on there and it's got black micarta handles with uh, the same dark green, forest green, that's what it is, forest green liners, very thin, kind of a subtle thing. So this knife is a heck of a woodworking camp craft knife. The downward angle of it wants to bite into wood, but when you look at it straight line, 
if you're in a pinch grip or whatever, you've got it almost in a, in a center point there for drilling and it's a, it's a killer knife. So A2 Steel, the Bobcat. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Hope that was fun for you. Just something cool and fun to share with you. Let me know what some of your favorite knives are in the comments below. And if you feel like sharing this kind of video, get you a deck of playing cards and create your own uh, favorite knives. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, get outside and enjoy the woods.